anything I did was just basically w worthless. I didn't see anything getting better in the future, so I thought, you know, like, I don't care what I do. I don't care who I see, who I talk to, or, like, who, who talks to me, you know, because in the end, like, I don't think I'm going to be around much longer anyway, so what I do just doesn't make any impact on the world. Options I had were, like, uh, I could either just end it where I was, or, like, that's really the only thing I saw at the time. Looking back, it just, after seeing all the great things and experience and everything that I had the past few years, it really makes me think that I was crazy to try to consider that back then. I think there are a lot of kids out there, especially ones who are very insecure about themselves, and they may have secrets about them that they don't want anyone else to know, so they'll they'll think that that's a, the only option that they have. You can't just expect to just run into their lives and expect to change everything. You need to you need to be their friend, you need to be their colleague, you need to help them understand that life's worth living. I want to show them the good things in life and how being being positive and being like someone who who loves to be adventurous and loves to be like be like happy is is really the best course of life. Uh, one thing that was kind of in the way was the fact that uh, Young Life St. Albert at least has never had a gay leader before. I had no idea how anyone was going to react. I was I, I was ready to be like rejected or to be ostracized by everyone. Uh, my name is Evan Donlevy, and I've been a Young Life leader for about a year and a half now. Uh, right now I'm going to Young Life Club, and I'm a junior high leader who helps to lead and inspire kids. Uh, my responsibility as a leader is to help them find God and help them find just a better life. And I try to look for the kids who are loners or don't have very many friends, and I show them a, like a, a, a friendship that they wouldn't receive from their peers. Well, I think a lot of teens, they have like their whole future on the line. Because even if it's something as serious as suicide or maybe less so just social anxiety and just they can't function in a, in like a social group, that's something that like they can just risk losing. And I think my ultimate goal is to hopefully just change as many lives as I can. But I know that if just one has been changed, then I've done my job. I couldn't imagine myself as like a kid going through high school actually becoming a leader. Uh, my childhood was really fairly average, like, you know, very loving parents, good school life. But as I got older and into my teens, it just really became natural to me to be depressed and to not trust anybody. And I just found that like life was just getting worse and worse as I grew older. About halfway through high school, I was in a really dark place. Every day, it seemed, the thought just crawling in my brain of like, you know, you're no good, you can't do anything, you know, no one likes you. The only reason I didn't proceed any further was just because, like, I was scared of what I wanted to do. Well, my life began to change about halfway through grade 11 when my feelings were at their very worst. And, and it changed because I was introduced to Young Life by a friend in, in one of my classes. He came up to me of his own accord and said, you know, you seem like someone who needs a friend. For the like first time, someone who I never took any effort in noticing or talking to started to take a notice in me. And just like within weeks, it just all began to change. Uh, tonight we're going to do a Harry Potter theme and play stuff like Quidditch, and I think it'll be really awesome since the kids love Harry Potter. Uh, I'm running the park skit tonight, which is basically just a chance to humiliate the leaders. And um, I think it's nice for the kids because it just shows that the leaders are, are fun and, and caring and that we're not afraid to just be wacky. 
that, that, that we're just okay with being ourselves and that it's kind of like a reflection of, you know, hey, we're here to have fun and you can have the same, you know, you can just be yourself. And even though we're humiliated, you're not, we're not gonna be judged and you won't be judged either. <laughs> After my first couple of times, I just, I look back at what I've been thinking my entire life and I just saw all this sadness and just everything I'd been talking about and everything I've been saying was just horrible stuff that like I didn't want to talk about anymore. I didn't want to say that I wanted to kill myself anymore. In grade eight, there was kind of a huge, I guess you can call it a fight, which seems really petty now, but at the time it was kind of a breakup between our group and it really, it really made me sad because these are kids that I've known since like kindergarten and after eight years to just suddenly have this huge argument and then just suddenly not talking to each other. That's when I started to realize that I couldn't trust anybody and that's kind of what drove me more into my depression, depression state. And after something like that, it's hard to just start to real, it's hard to start trusting people again. If people would just leave me after a little fight like that, I was afraid that a big announcement like that would be just the end of it for me. Well, the big secret was that I was gay. And I felt like, mainly because I went to a Catholic school, I felt like a lot of the students and like more hardcore Christians wouldn't, wouldn't support me. And since Young Life is Christian, it's, it, also, it also made me feel like I wouldn't be accepted there anymore. I think if I didn't get the opportunity, it would be devastating to me because I wouldn't be able to help out people and I would not have known what to do with my life if I didn't get that chance. I think the most difficult part is probably the rejection you can get sometimes. You know, some kids will open up to you and will like just want to be your friend from the start, but others will think you're weird or think you're like they just don't like you in general and they'll just ignore you. But that would never stop me from being a leader. Well then, I guess we should get these two up here. That would be Brennan and Brittany. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> well, I want to be involved in teens' lives to every aspect. Oh. <laughs> you good? Yep. Oh, okay. You can't see, can you? <laughs> I think the most fulfilling thing for me would be if I can get a group of kids to really tell me what's going on because a lot of times they'll tell you just, you know, what you want to hear, but if they can actually tell me what's inside and what they actually feel about their current life, that's probably what I want to see. Uh, we're going to start a Quidditch game and I get to be one of the rest for the team and yeah, I hope it's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> There's some kids that I have now that like are very open with me and that will always come talk to me. So I feel like I'm on the verge of actually like being able to actually talk to them about what's really happening. Like if I can't do that, then I failed. When I was given that second chance and I was shown like a better life, it made me realize that, you know, like I need to do the same. So to, to do that, like save a kid, that made me feel like, you know, I, I was given a second chance so that they could be given a second chance as well. It made me realize that, you know, that even though things seem really bad, even if you're on the verge of just like ending it all because you don't see another way, there's always going to be like almost like a miracle that happens. If you told me three years ago all the stuff that was going to happen to me, I would have said you were crazy. But to actually have that happen and to be just transformed into a new person that can actually has like confidence and self-esteem, that actually has friends and, you know, people who care about him, it made my, just my depression like just disappeared almost instantly. Uh, tonight went really well, considering the amount of kids we had. <laughs> I know that sometimes other people are experiencing the same things and that's just something that keeps me going nowadays is like just realizing that you know people may have problems but there's always a way to solve them. I'm a fan of like a motto that says that was put on a ring once that says this too shall pass which is like you know no matter if you're in a dark situation just think you know this too shall pass you know eventually you will get past it you know and it may take some effort but 
eventually it will be it will be passed and you will look back on it one day it, it, it meant that like I built a friendship with those kids and that like they had a fun time and I had a fun time and that it just all came together so I'm seen as like a friend and you know in the end I think that's what makes it all worthwhile I don't think there'll ever be ever stopping a need for leaders like me to actually help kids because there's always going to be someone else who needs to just, even if it's just to talk to, just there's, there's always going to be another one like that. And I guess in a perfect world, everyone is is okay with like other people and they're like, they're fine with expressing their feelings and how they actually are. And a world where kids are just free to say what they want, they're free to express how they actually feel and there's help for them no matter what, like doesn't matter how old or, you know, how bad it is, you're gonna have someone there that's gonna help you. A lot of people either see it or don't see it, but there are a lot of people out there struggling. Just, it, it could be something minor, or it could be something really bad. And, you know, like, a lot of times people are just too caught up in their own lives to deal with it, or they just don't want to. And, you know, if, any, if everyone would step up and make sure that everyone was okay, and that everyone had, like, a fulfilled life, then the world would just be a much better place.